Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Timber Panda, and today I'm bringing you a quick little tutorial video on how to set up OBS for the best streaming on pretty much any uh, particular platform. I personally use Twitch, so this is for mainly Twitch, but you can use it on other uh, other platforms, I guess. So the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is going to be download Open Broadcast Software. Now, what Open Broadcast Software is, is it's a streaming and recording software, completely free. Uh, best way to find it just look up OBS or it'll be linked in the description uh, below so go ahead and check that out so go ahead and download that just click this if you're running Windows 7 or Windows 8 obviously you can get it for OS X 10 or um, Linux coming soon next once it's installed um, just go ahead and open it go through the installation all of that I already have it installed so I don't have to do that right now and the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to go over to this uh, server ping plugin now what this does is uh, it'll let you decide which of the servers uh, that you can connect to will have the best ping and the best for streaming now what you want to do for that is you want to download it uh, generally uh, if you have Windows 8 it's going to be the 64-bit version if you have Windows 7 it could be either or um, I'd recommend downloading the 64-bit version either way uh, it's the better version especially if you're using 64-bit uh, OBS so on to that next what you want to do is you want to open up your like uh, file browser then you want to go to your C drive or your local disk uh, where all of your like files your program files are saved now what you want to do next is open up program files make sure it's not uh, program files 86 go to normal program files uh, this is for uh, OBS 64 bit and you want to open up OBS next thing you're gonna to want to do open this up and you're gonna to want to make sure you have a, a 7 zip WinRAR or anything like that for those your best bet is just to google it uh, to be completely honest and make sure you have this up as well so what you're going to want to do next is take this drag and drop in there I can already have it in there so I'll go ahead and move and replace go ahead and click continue all right so now that that's in there I'm all set all right so that's all set up ready to go next thing you're going to want to do obviously open OBS I already have it open as you can see uh, everything's working just fine and go ahead and preview the stream hello you can see my face uh, it's kind of dark in my room but yeah you can go ahead and see that that little pop-up there that was actually my control panel for my new webcam that I got so go ahead and stop preview the next thing you're gonna want to do is open up your settings you can go to it from here uh, or settings there or you can just click this button that says settings it'll bring it up all the same first thing you want to do is look at your general settings most of the time you don't have to change anything here uh, I recommend having it in English if you speak English you can change the setting profile if you'd like uh, I recommend having enable cursor over pro, uh, projector checked that just makes it a little bit easier on you next you're gonna want to go over to encoding now this is where the important stuff starts to kick in as you can see I have it selected at x264 for my encoder uh, generally uh, that's going to be the better option the Nvidia one over here it's all right but I prefer uh, this one here next you want to make sure use CBR is checked that way you can set up custom uh, bits ra bit rates and such I put my bit rate at 3000 because my upload speed is 30 megs per second this is 3 megs per second streaming uh, so it's 3000 kilobits per second which is equivalent to 3 megs uh, if you have slower internet uh, slower upload upload than 3 megs which I know some people do uh, some people have 2 megs I recommend dropping it down the lowest I would go would be uh, roughly, I'd say, 1800 um, as the max bit rate. But I would recommend, uh, if you have a fast enough internet speed, going up to at least 2500. Uh, another thing is you want to make sure enable CBR padding is uh, checked, then use custom buffer size is checked. Reason being is you want to set your buffer size to 500 more than what your max bit rate is. It helps improve the stream quality and makes it makes it less pixelated. On to the audio encoding. For the codec, I recommend AC, uh, AAC. It's going to be a better quality, uh, in my opinion. Next is going to be the format here. Uh, I have mine at 4800 hertz because I have a Blue Yeti microphone, which is capable of recording at 48 hertz. Uh, some microphones aren't, so I'd recommend just looking up your uh, like your microphone's uh, properties. To find out exactly what's uh, on there so next is the bit rate for your audio I recommend 96 because it's not going to take up a lot of your max bit rate but it's not so low that your audio is going to be a terrible quality 
and the channel that's your opinion your option i prefer stereo next you want to hit apply onto the broadcast settings as you can see i have everything already set up here so what you're going to want to do go to live stream if you're live streaming or file output if you're just recording a video uh choose your place that you're recording from um or streaming from i'm doing twitch obviously and this is where uh this will get into here in a minute uh the fms url we'll get into in just a second now this is a little bit odd if you're streaming to twitch uh, you need a stream key so for that just open up twitch which i have right here click on your little name go to dashboard and right here you'll see a bunch of stats everything like that click on stream key right there and then click show key obviously i'm not going to do that right now because i don't want anyone being able to stream to my channel without my consent so yeah you can just do that really quick it's a quick easy uh, thing to do so going back to obs you want auto reconnect checked it checked it checked it uh, you want auto reconnect timeout 10 uh, delay zero uh, none of this checked here. Uh, these uh, keep restoring. I don't have any of that checked. Uh, all of this, this part is your option really, except for this. I keep it at one. Uh, it just helps a little bit. But the file path and replay buffer file path, those are, like I said, your options. Moving on to the video. Uh, I'm just not going to save that. Uh, no, thank you. All right. So what you want to do here is you want to have, uh, you want to check custom. Have it set to 1920 by 1080 uh, if your monitor is 1920 by 1080. Uh, reason being if you check monitor it actually slows down the pro uh, it'll actually like take more from your cpu than using a custom one next what you want to do is use your resolution downscale if you're at 1920 by 1080 to 1280 by 720. reason being is this will help uh lower the like weight on your processor and on uh, your internet uh, it'll just help a lot and it'll give you that crisp clear quality next up there's a few filters uh, bilinear, uh, bilinear uh, the bicubic uh, sharper, or this one, however you pronounce that. I use that one. It's the best detail uh, because I have a really fast internet, really fast computer. Uh, if you go to bilinear, obviously, uh, it's going to be a, less, a lesser load on your CPU. Uh, I have a really good CPU, so I use that. But if you don't, uh, if you have an i5 or lower, I'd recommend this. If you have anything below uh, an i3, I'd recommend this. Uh, i3 or below, bilinear is going to be what you want. I have an i7, so I use that. Then, obviously, uh, this uh, I prefer 60 FPS. Uh, you can stream at 30, but 60 is going to be optimal. And if this is where the difference between Windows 7 and Windows 8 comes in, uh, Windows 8 doesn't have the option to disable arrow. Uh, I personally am using Windows 7, so I have that checked, and it disables it whenever I open OBS and lowers the load on my computer. So I would recommend checking it uh, if you do use Windows 7. All right, so go ahead and hit apply for all of that. Go on to audio. This stuff, uh, this stuff is all your options. As you can see, I have my Yeti selected. I have a bunch of other uh, little microphones that I could use. That uh, these three here, ones on my headset, ones on my uh, webcam. This is just my what I hear everything through uh, when I'm just chilling, and what this gets any audio from that's not my voice. All of this stuff, it's really just your preference. Uh, and I always keep Shook only connected device checked because it makes it a little bit easier on you hotkeys all your preference i have a few hotkeys i use them but if you don't want to you don't have to advanced this is where it gets a little bit different so uh make sure you check use multi-thread uh, multi-threaded optimizations to get the most um, power out of your computer for your stream i would recommend putting this on high if you're doing uh obs and just a game that's a, that's it if you're doing anything else I'd recommend normal uh, like rendering a video while you're streaming I'd recommend normal I put mine on high because I normally don't do that scene buffer time I'd recommend 700 seconds it keeps down that pixelation uh, don't check that allow other modifiers on hotkeys that's not really gonna matter so you can check it or not now this is where it gets kind of odd so uh, this is where a lot of the pixelation comes from you think ultra fast is going to be the best setting but it's not so what I'd recommend is if you have, like I said, an i5 or below, uh, super fast, or no, I'm sorry, not super fast, faster. If you have an i3 or below, super fast. Um, if you have anything below like an i3, ultra fast is going to be your best bet. I use medium, like I said, I have an i7, has no problem. Uh, I have mine on main instead of high, it's just a little bit better. 
and this you want to put at two seconds or two if you are using uh, if you're streaming to twitch because that's the optimization for it next you want to check use cfr check encode in full range and everything else does not have to be checked or fiddled with next up we have the quick sync encoder uh, i'm just going to click no for that you don't have to worry about anything here this is all done by obs microphone nose gate nose gate noise gate uh, these are all the settings you can fiddle with for your microphone alone uh, that's up to y'all. That's all y'all's uh, optimization, all y'all's like choices. Now, this is where we talk about the uh, part up here, the FMS URL down at server pane. So this is going to show you every server that you can connect to and whichever one's best. So as you can see, um, what you want to look at is the average and last ping, uh, this little green or red, as you can see in some uh, number. As you can see, Central Dallas right here uh, is the, going to be the lowest for me. Uh, I recommend finding whichever one's the lowest for you. And once you do, uh, you can just, uh, if you're streaming to Twitch, these are all the Twitch ones. It goes down. Um, if you go to YouTube, these are all the YouTube ones, a whole two of them. Uh, you can just choose one for any of the areas you're streaming to. But if you're using Twitch, find the one that is the lowest ping uh, possible and choose that one. Uh, what you have to do there is go up to broadcast settings go here and just scroll through them it'll give you all the options for twitch and choose whichever ones you're using obviously like i said i'm using central dallas so i'm just going to keep it there and hit apply hit ok and it'll close out those settings and that's pretty much all there is to it um, there's a few more things like setting up scenes and whatnot uh, so all you have to do is right click add scene name it whatever you want i'm going to name this one test for the sake of what we're doing hit ok now, here are the sources. You want to right-click, add. Uh, so for this, if you're capturing a game, just use Game Capture. Uh, it'll, it'll find the game, and you'll be able to use uh, just that window of the game. And it'll stretch it to full screen. If you're, you're trying to capture a window, obviously, Window Capture. Uh, that's for capturing things like, uh, say, Google Chrome, something like that. If you're trying to capture a monitor, obviously, Monitor Capture. All right, so... And then a say you're using a webcam video capture device to find the webcam so that's going to be it for this guys i hope you enjoyed watching and because i enjoyed making this i i found these settings i set it all up and i'm really proud and happy of them uh, they're really nice my streams have improved tremendously so i recommend using them like i said links for everything down in the description below uh, for obs and the server ping plugin so go ahead and check that stuff out and i will see y'all in the next video everybody Peace out.